this week once again uh, since I don't really have time to make customs yet, which is what I really kind of want to do with this channel is, you know, do some wheel changes and some paint jobs and whatnot, more than just show off cars I've bought. Maybe do some dioramas and stuff. I haven't hit my retirement date yet, which is the end of June, and that's when I will have more time to do that stuff. So for now, let's open some blister packs. This is a car that I've had a little while. I like it. Um, it is obviously the Maverick. My dad worked in a Ford dealership when I was a kid, so I remember when these things were new because I'm old enough to remember that stuff. I've had this one open for a while. I have had this one. Whoa, whoa look at that. Mm -hmm. I've had this one in the blister pack for a while. Doesn't really show up very well in the lights there, does it? And uh, I think I kind of like this one better, so I think I'm going to rip this one open. And it's a good thing, because I almost destroyed the, uh, the blue one there. <laughs> this is supposedly number 3488 of 4,000, so it, it's, a, ooh, it's a limited edition. Whatever. 4,000 isn't limited to me. And I want to see it out of the pack. And just like that other limited edition that I ripped open, it's going to be one of those tough blister packs that bites me. But I'm going to, I'm going to go a little rougher on it this time and actually get it open. Come on out of it. Oh, wow. That's a stubborn car. Okay. There we go. Oh, is that gorgeous. That looks really good out of the pack. Let's uh, get rid of the box. Destroy the evidence. <laughs> yeah. This is my makeshift turntable. I, I, I ordered this because it was nine bucks, but I've ordered a better one since. So that's a nice looking car. I like the detail on this one. The, the tail lights are painted in. The uh, side marker lights are painted in. A little bit better on the chrome details. Plus, you know, it looks like uh, an old red line, even though it's not an old red line. This one isn't so much a limited one as just one I like. I like how it looks, so I want to see how it looks out of the package. It's the, the air-cooled um, Porsche 356A Outlaw. Let's rip that bad boy open. I love this ripping. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a cheater advantage there with a key. Get it in there. And... Uh, Wow, that's that, that. I gotta get myself an electric turntable. It's on the way, it's on the way from Amazon. Yeah. That one's almost too nice to put in the display case. Yeah. Love the tampo on it. I don't know, it's just the bubblegum number looks really good on this one. Let's put that one back there. This one is a limited edition 7211 of 12.5, 12,500. That's not limited. There's 12,000 of them crying out loud. I've owned real cars they've made less of. Anyway, let's, uh, it, 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 the blister on this one seems a little bit faded. So uh, I don't think it's showing the color off like it should. And this one's going to look really good in my display case. So let's let's pop this one out. It's going to be another stubborn one, I can tell. Yep, that was right. <laughs> the key, I think, is to rip from the bottom like that. And then out it comes. Yeah. Ooh, see now I didn't even realize the hood opens on this one. That's uh, that's a bonus. It doesn't open very far though. I don't want to break it, but I want it open. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I think it's supposed to open further than that. That is really pretty. Nice. 
Let's open something a little more regular. I just picked up this here 64 Chevy Impala. I remember when these were a common thing on the road. And I just like how detailed it is. Um, it's got the taillights painted in. I almost wish I bought the blue one, but I like the red one too. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and pop this thing open. This is a relatively recent car, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Not as stubborn as the other ones either. So, uh, because it's a regular package. Nice. I love that the taillights are painted in. <laughs> That uh, Chevy logo on the back is pretty sweet, too. Now, this one I bought, I bought a bunch of just because I thought I would customize them. I don't, I don't really care for this color combination, but I like the car. So, let's pop this open. We'll take a quick look at it. I'm not, um, yeah, I like, the, I like the hood scoop. I like the proportions of the body. Just don't like that flame job. Not really crazy about the wheels on it, either. Those are going to have to go. Same thing with this one. Um, Muscle Mania 63 Chevy 2 Chevy Nova. And um, I just, what I don't like about this is the tampos. I know some people love the tampos on this one, but let's pop that sucker out. We'll spend just a couple minutes looking at that one too. I do love the paint color on it though. Might have to do a tampo removal and some um, a wheel swap on this one. Also painting the tail lights because they're not painted in. Another common car. This one is a Johnny Lightning, which I think I already mentioned. I didn't open yet, but uh, I'm gonna open it just to take a look at it. This is gonna be this is gonna be a diorama car gonna crash it I'm gonna turn it into a convertible and I'm gonna invert it another opening hood that doesn't open very far it's gonna be Jackson Pollock's crash car because I have that kind of dark sense of humor Yeah, nice looking casting. On to another not so special car. I've already cut this one. I bought a bunch of these too. I just want to take a look at what the casting looks like when it's not in a blister. I bought a few of these to customize. I really, really, really hate the tampos on this one. But, um,. I, I like the casting. I think it, it's going to make a good looking custom. Like when I get the free time to do the customs. Oh, do, do, do. I, knew, I, I knew a guy or sort of knew a guy in Santa Barbara that had one of these and he'd put a Porsche engine in it. Okay, on to more special cars. A 2014, this one is beautiful. A 2014 custom AMC AMX. This is uh, one of two. That doesn't mean they've only made two. Ha <laughs> ha. It is number 2817 of 3126. What a weird number of cars to make. So, uh, yeah. I just like the looks of this one. So let's pop it out of the package. Red Lion Club Custom AMX. And the blister queens are going crazy when I do this. But I've seen other people do this too. I think it's the right thing to do. The hood opens on this one. Again. Once again. What is it with Hot Wheels hoods? Not open? Oh, that one did. Yeah, there we go. But what is it with a lot of Hot Wheel hoods not opening very far? Huh. I remember when Hot Wheel cars and Matchbox cars, hoods and doors would open with regularity. I mean, you'd, you'd get a lot of cars that, like the taillights painted in, love the color of the, you know, almost Spectre Flame sort of chrome looking pink. Love the casting. Love the red line wheels. That's 
gonna look really good in the display case there. See how they've done the details on it. Even the little AMX shows up really well. Mm -hmm. Beach bomb pickup truck. So uh, I, I, I didn't even know these things existed in real life until I moved to California. I'd never seen one when I grew up in Illinois and Iowa. And um, saw my first one in Santa Barbara. Thought it was a custom. I thought somebody made it or imported it from Germany themselves. Anyway, this is number 145 of 10,000. Ooh, it's a low number one. Whatever. As if 145 is any more special than number two or number 10,000 or whatever. Anyway, this is going to look good out of the package. So let's do it. Out it comes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good looking car. That is just, it's so unique, the casting. I mean, I guess the little surfboards come off. Yeah, nice. You wouldn't give that to a small child these days. Neat little engine in the back. And it says... Hot Wheel, I, I'm too old to see what that says. Wow, I'm gonna have to like look at it on the camera. HWC Matt, I think it says, HWC Matt. Hot Wheels Club Mattel, maybe. <laughs> it's actually got a license plate. Does that one have a license plate? It does. AMX, I don't know, I'm gonna have to Focus the camera on that, and I'm going to have to look at it on the big screen to see what it is, because my eyes are too old to read that. That's that's sad. <laughs> there was a day I could tell you what that said. No license plate on the front of that one. Easily these two being the best looking. Haven't really decided. I got a bunch of treasure hunts, five of them. The packages aren't great. I don't really know what I, I don't even really know why I bought them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I, I kind of like the uh, 34 Ford. Not really crazy about the wheels on the Cobra. The Chevy's all right. The Woody's all right. The Woody's actually pretty nice looking too. Not really crazy about the 442. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'll do with those one day. Maybe when I hit 100 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway or something. I don't know. Maybe.